When I asked for your support when I was campaigning, I made three promises to you that I'd work on property tax, education, and creating a business-friendly environment. And today I'm here to deliver on that promise and talk to you about what I'm doing on property tax. So today on the House, actually yesterday on the House floor, we voted for House Bill 1075, which provides more transparency in local government. It's a great bill. Um, it doesn't tell any city or county how much they can spend or how much they can budget. It has nothing to do with that. It just says that they have to provide the information of what they've spent in a transparent way. So that is um, coming on over to the Senate now because it already passed the House. The second one is working it through its way through the Senate right now, and that is 1108, which is also a property tax bill. And what it does is it kind of changes the formula so that property taxes can't grow at such a high rate. And it does that through altering some of the formula that has to do with new construction that allows growth to pay a little bit more for itself. So that's also good news happening on the Senate side. And those are only two that have started um, that have bill numbers. There are a few other that I'm hearing about that do not have a bill number yet, but we're still working on. One is a specific uh, bill that will help our elderly and more seasoned population be able to stay in their homes, and it's got a very narrow focus to that um, specific demographic. And then the other one is I heard just this morning that there's someone that's working on homeowner exemption and getting that raised um, to help kind of just, just the general population. So wanted you to know we're working on property tax and make you a promise that I will stick through uh, this property tax as we muddle through and get all the way through the end of session to make sure that we get you some relief by the end of session. That's it.